G'day guys, welcome back to another adventure. Right now I'm in Echuca, up on the uh, border of New South Wales and Victoria. I'm here on a bit of a camping trip. I thought I'd go and film this old uh, abandoned train carriage uh, that was responsible for spraying weeds along the Victorian Railway uh, back <laughs> it was a while ago. It's been sitting there for some time. So I thought I'd go, I'd go for a bit of a hike and uh, show you a little bit of the town on the river and all that stuff. It's so beautiful up here. So. Let's get stuck into the hike. You can probably hear all the cockatoos above me right now. There's just hundreds of them out here at the minute. They're all just going nuts, so. <laughs> Let's go enjoy some of what a chuka has to offer. I will probably chuck in a little bit of bonus footage along the way because I've been here for about five days, so. Uh, anything else will just be chucked in at the end of uh, whatever I filmed from the train carriage. So, let's get stuck into it. just before you hit the port of Echuca you got these locked up in here that's pretty cool this sign here says that this one actually came from uh, a Murray River sawmill in Echuca and was used at their log winch to haul logs from the barge a lot of these sort of steam engines were actually used in farms around here so apparently it was quite a common sight and there's a uh, nice replica of uh, one of the steam boats here or paddle boats I should say outside on the river and they, these are absolutely everywhere it's pretty cool here's another big old steam engine right there that thing is monstrous huge there is a plaque here little wonder this one's called little wonder this engine and the boiler from the paddle steamer little wonder there you go it's built in Cornella Creek New South Wales and was launched in December 1878 so a lot of these came from sawmills and stuff from the area well, here we go. This is the port of Echuca. This is kind of like the old timey, the old timey area. Anyone who's been to Echuca as a kid will remember this. Currently seven o'clock in the morning, so <laughs> there's absolutely no one here. There is a discovery center here, which I don't think it's free, but yeah, you can go in there and learn a whole bunch of stuff about Echuca. You can do like all these sorts of tours and all that stuff. Look at this guy. I don't know if you want to be on a tour with him or you can, uh, get dressed up like these people. I personally know I'd look great dressed up like that. Of course, it's just uh, one of those very touristy things. <laughs> but it's uh, it's pretty popular down here during the day. Yeah, they have set this up sort of like a, you know, what a chuka would have looked like back in the, uh, back in the 1800s, early 1900s, I guess. Except for the, uh, the smoking barbecue place right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as I said, it's nice and early in the morning. I'm not gonna get, uh, almost anyone down here at this time. <laughs> almost all of the buildings in Echuca have these, these plaques on them stating what was here, what used to be here, which I'm all about. <laughs> this is the site of St. George Hall. It's obviously uh, it's long gone, but uh, you will notice that it is probably still original right there. At least they used to tie their horses up to. It's kind of strange being the only one out here because uh, I've walked down here quite a few times and it's been really busy and you can do horse and cart tours and stuff like that down here. I'm like, uh, feeling like a bit of an old western right now, deserted town. And you might get a bit of a view of the uh, mighty Murray River right here. That side of the river is New South Wales. And of course I'm in Victoria right here. This river is absolutely pumping with activity during the day. You've got a lot of people riding their boats and jet skiing or just floating down the river. As I said, it's seven o'clock in the morning, not many people out and about, but Geez, it's hot already. It's going to be about 41 today. Currently, it's 30 degrees, <laughs> so whew, it is warm. Right here, you can get your old-timey photos done if you like, <laughs> if you remember those. Here's some examples. Wait, flip that. <laughs> can you see that one on the top left? Uh, I don't think I'll be doing that one. Right here is a uh, big old log of wood, if that gets everyone excited. <laughs> log buggy. Made entirely of red gum. So this is from Myora Forest, New South Wales. The length is 20 foot, the girth 18 foot, and the volume 4,860. Log donated by Murray River Sawmills. Cool. That is massive. <laughs> if that's what you're into, if you're into uh, big old logs of wood, Chuka Mills got you sorted out. <laughs> what the heck? What's that doing here? I've got no idea what that's doing there. So if I peek my 
head over the fence here, you'll see a big old steam train. Now I believe this is the A2. How do I know that? Because it's written on the sign over there. I'm sure Floyd Bromley can tell you all about uh, this steam train. Let me try and get a bit of a better view for you guys. Eh, somewhat better. I believe it's been brought here for a bit of uh, renovations and stuff like that on the train. So it uh, looks like it's been sitting here for a while. And here is the old train line right here, right under my foot. It, uh, it just ends right at the end of this path here. So uh, that's where that steam train, I guess, was brought on. But I know the tracks actually do go a bit further down. Yeah, as I was saying, this is the train line, the rest of it anyway. It just keeps going and going. So they've sort of just turned this all into a big old bit, piece of parkland. It's so nice down here though. It's, uh, as much as I love it, I hate the heat. <laughs> it's hot up here 90% of the year. So right now we're just starting summer really. And over there, far off in the distance is the bridge to New South Wales. Oh, God damn, these sprinklers are really inviting me to run through them right now. It is so hot. There's the American hotel there in the background, or the Yank as the locals call it. Call it. <laughs> Spit it out, Muir. And boy, as if uh, the Port of Echuca didn't feel like a ghost town. Now I'm walking through the main town. I can see a few other people going for a bit of a hike around, but it is absolutely dead here today in Echuca, which I won't complain with. Well, here I am outside Dan Murphy's. Everyone needs this guy. This is a liquor store for anyone playing outside of Australia. And that right there is a pallet of ice. <laughs> that is how hot it is here. They just dump it out the front and you can uh, pay and go. Oh man, Woolworths or Safeway as us OG Victorians call it. I need to go in there and get some water. <laughs> it is so hot. 70 cents. Let's grab two of those. Definitely need that today. Now, well, last time I was here, the uh, the V line actually wasn't even running because of COVID, but it's uh, I believe it's running now. I actually have no idea if it is or not. Doesn't say there's no signs around saying no trains running, but can see the uh, that abandoned carriage over there that we're going to head to and film. So just over here is the old sideways there in the background. You can see the, the train line there on the right hand side where the train would have ran straight up to the uh, to the sideways there and topped up with. Whatever exactly was coming from there, probably some sort of grain. Whew. All right, let's keep walking. God damn, that's a pub right there. If it wasn't 8.41 in the morning, I'd be visiting you right now. <laughs> this is right where we're heading here. Thanks to uh, Floyd Bromley for uh, tipping me off about this one last time I was here in Echuca. It's pretty damn cool. I did put some photos on my Instagram a while ago from when I was last here, but let's go jump into this old carriage and have a look. Well, here it is. Now, I do believe that this is called the Weedex train because basically its job was to go up and down the uh, train lines around Victoria and spray a, uh, what do you call it, like weed repellent <laughs> out of the sides of this train and uh, basically rid the tracks of weeds. But, uh, and now it has been sitting here for quite some time and as you can see, it's been burnt out as well. Big flat things on this side here. They do open up, but does VR stand for Victorian Railway? Floyd, you'll be able to tell me that. Well, this is quite a tight space. There's this chair here. Damn, two couple of chairs in here. This old door has uh, seen better days. Oh look, uh, emos have been here. A few bottles and stuff lying around. I don't know if anyone's been sleeping in here or not. But uh, it's hard to tell what half this stuff is or was. But uh, imagine a nice little space back here for two people to sit. <laughs> and look out the uh, Victorian countryside as you spray weeds. <laughs> as you can tell, there was a, a fire in here at some point. It's, uh, how this thing is actually staying together is beyond me. This is all just charcoal. Syringe cap, it's always nice. Ah, man, look how burnt out this is. Look at that rocket ship. Oh, this is cool. There's a, 
a seat there and a seat here and uh, there's this wheel here that you spin around I guess that used to uh, open up a valve or something that would uh, start spraying all the weeds it's kind of hard to tell what stuff is because I haven't found that many photos yet anyway I may find more but it's uh it's hard to tell what some of this stuff is especially when you don't know that much about trains and need fluid here <laughs> there's always little valves and stuff everywhere it still work quite nicely too imagine that's opening something up that runs down there oh look at this uh, it's stuck in there it'll pull out there's actually like some old newspaper in here damn i wonder how old that is someone's cut out like a commercial there for something might a 10 god knows how old that is i'm gonna say the angle of the photo was something like this but uh i don't think that uh the picture is this exact model or whatnot but i know floyd had some pictures i might have to pester him for some <laughs> but you can see the connection parts here of where the uh of where the hoses and stuff were There's this old carriage attached to it as well, which I'm almost certain last time I was here, this was open. Maybe not. Oh, huh? It was. Oh my god. That was heavy. <laughs> Wide open. If you wanted to, uh... Oh god, I just saw that piece of string, I thought it was a snake. If you wanted to spend the night, uh... Sleeping in a uh, back carriage like some old hobo, then here's your opportunity. <sighs> now it took me about half an hour to walk here from where I'm camping, so we've got a bit of a walk back, but yeah, it is awesome. I love this sort of stuff. I, was, I, don't, I, I don't know that much about trains, but um, if you want to check out Floyd Bromley on Instagram and YouTube, he is like, he knows everything about trains. Close the carriage. Back up. <laughs> that was cool. Well, right here is the old uh, train turntable. Obviously, this just spins around and allows the carriages to do uh, basically a U turn <laughs> to get back out onto the rails. But as you can see by the amount of weeds there on the uh, on the carry on the tracks, that uh, hasn't been used for quite some time. And now it's just full of KFC rubbish. <laughs> you can see the big track that goes all the way around. This is it right here. All across it. It's a. Uh... Holy shit. It's actually moving. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Oh man, that makes me feel giddy. Whew. Got me a head spin. That was weird. <laughs> As you can see, the track is very rusted, which uh, basically means there's been no carriage or. No train on it for quite some time. Well, I'm gonna leave the old weed carriage alone to roast in the sun for a, another 50 years, probably before it falls apart. <laughs> Man, this thing is just out here roasting in the summer sun. But it's pretty cool. Let's uh, walk our way back to my camp. Here's a good view of the uh, turntable. It's got a lot of tumbleweeds built up under it. <laughs> But uh, imagine that thing right there is the lock. That lever there, just pull that back and you can spin it around. The way it was moving when I stood on it, I think it still works quite nicely. Well, it's currently 35 degrees. We're gonna have a high of about 41 today, so it's nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, I gotta get myself back and have a swim, I think. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And it's actually gotten so hot that my uh, GoPro keeps overheating. <laughs> There's an old boat just here, which is uh, probably been sitting here in the water for a long last time. I didn't even see those ducks. These are big ass ducks. What's going on? There's a good view of it anyway. There's so much stuff sort of scattered around in the bush. That's uh, keep spotting across the other side, rolled with steam engines and stuff. Probably been sitting there for so long. 
of this tree here has all the levels that the, uh, the river has flooded to. 1975 flood level at the top. 1870 flood level. And uh, even on there, there's 1916, 1935. Oh, shit. That was caught on GoPro. Hello, monk. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Who's your favourite YouTuber? <laughs> High five. Liam wants to show you his Donald Trump dance. Hit it. Is that how he dances? Yeah. You're right, eh? This is where we were swimming today. Look how close it is. <laughs> Excuse me, Nonna. <laughs> Why are you a Nonna? <laughs> Man, this is the greatest. <laughs> Fishing down here by the Murray. <laughs> Bit of wildlife flying past. Happy as Larry. Check this out, isn't this absolutely awesome? This is, uh, I think this town's called uh, Rochester. It's uh, the town, one town away from uh, Chuka. There's these old silos that are here. I don't think they're obviously functioning anymore right next to the train line. And uh, they've done this awesome artwork on it. And there is a ton of these around country Victoria, which at some point this year, I want to do a bit of a trip and go and see them all, a bit of a camping trip. So I uh, thought I'd pull over and give it a look. But on this one, there's a kingfisher with a fish in its mouth, obviously next to the Murray River. I know it's down there, it actually says it's the Campesi River. An azure, an azure kingfisher, <laughs> and this is a sugar glider. We have plenty of those around uh, where I live. Actually, quite a few around the area I grew up in. So, pretty damn cool. But uh, pretty, pretty incredible, amazing talent. Anyway, we're gonna be. I'm gonna begin the drive back to Melbourne. So. Quite a few little bits of random footage here and there after the, the train and all that stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed anyway. If you're new here, like and subscribe, follow on Instagram and YouTube. See you guys on the next adventure.